Hey guys, so I am driving to a lunch meeting right now. I thought I'd record a short video for you guys while I'm on the way to my meeting. This is an interesting one because it's a work meeting and the individual wants to meet at McDonald's and he's been raving about their coffee. I am not a fan of McDonald's. Um, it takes a lot to convince me to go to McDonald's to eat anything, to drink anything, honestly. And it made me think about marketing. I've had bad experiences at McDonald's, meaning everything I ate didn't matter if it was, it didn't matter if it was the McRib or whatever seasonal burger they're bringing or the Big Mac or the Quarter Pounder or the fries or whatever like I always got an upset stomach seriously and I always got an upset stomach oh the sun is really beaming in here <laughs> in the car but I, I always have have had an upset stomach and it was a bad experience and I, yeah, I don't promote McDonald's and this is not an advertisement for McDonald's, just FYI, but I never go there ever, 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 ever. I never go there until today. So if you want to know how my experience went, <laughs> send me a LinkedIn message and I'll let you know. But it's interesting because going back to marketing, when someone has a bad experience and you try to change, you know, the coffee, um, the drinks, the burgers saying, Oh, we went from this to like real burgers and real meat and real chicken now. And that doesn't build my trust. That's just more like, dang, I've been eating that for so many years when I was uh, younger. And it makes me think about like, yeah, in order for you to get my business, you got to try harder than just saying you're offering genuine meat now. Like, I don't know. Like, so it reminds me of marketing of like starting on the right foot and making sure it's a great experience for everyone. For all your customers, for your employees, because I've I've seen employees talk bad about McDonald's and everything. So it starts from the top down, right? And believing in your product or service. And who knows? I might love the coffee. But this individual is not the first individual that has been raving about McDonald's. I've had four other individuals tell me about McDonald's coffee. So I asked the individual. I never get coffee at McDonald's and that's not a location that I think to go stop and get coffee. I think of Starbucks, Phil's Coffee, Pete's Coffee. I mean, the list goes on, right? And he said, yeah, it used to be like dirt, like really cheap, it was nasty, McDonald's coffee. And, and then what they did is they changed that and now I guess their supplier for coffee is Green Mountain, which I've heard of the brand, but I've never tasted their coffee. So this is going to be a first time, the first time I'm going to try their coffee. But I bring this up because <laughs> it's harder um, to bring back old customers that have had bad experiences. And I need to come in with uh, not high expectations. Um, and not and I, I don't I don't have to have any doubt. I don't need to bring doubt into this experience or or else it's just I don't care if they bring me, you know, steak and lobster. I'm still not gonna like McDonald's if I come in with a negative, just negative thinking. I'm having a hard time trying to put my words together. <laughs> but anyways, it's interesting. So when it comes to marketing, make sure that you start off on the right foot, but emphasize the customer experience from the employees um, to the bosses, 
to the customers as well too. I just had a bad experience when I was younger over the years and it just left a bad taste in my mouth, literally. And yeah, that was the last place on earth and I'll go to McDonald's, but that's not the reality. So anyways, marketing is important. Um, and I will say this, they're doing a great job with marketing. I think they got Travis Scott, um, which is this rapper and their sales just boomed. I think they were like out of quarter pounders or whatever the Travis Scott burger was. Um, it was like a Sprite fries. I don't remember the, the, the meal, but they've been doing a great job getting celebrities and doing a great job with their marketing campaign. So kudos to you guys at McDonald's for revamping your marketing. That's awesome. There's a lot of um, fast food chains that are not doing that. And it's just a matter of time for them to just go extinct. So kudos to you guys for that. Now, I'm going to dive right into this McDonald's location, try out the food. I feel like this is like Super Size Me part three or something. <laughs> no, that's not true because Super Size Me would mean I would have to eat McDonald's every day. So no, but it does feel like a documentary. <laughs> 